so hi okay a friend of mine gave me this Sony PlayStation this is a of course for racing game you have uh, this wheel and also a pedals and the problem is that he, uh, his son let's say connected it by mistake to 220 volts instead of 110 and this came from the US so of course this is a problem so of course it stopped immediately to work and then he asked me what can go wrong <laughs> but you have all these stickers to avoid a, a higher voltage when connecting it uh, to your outlet as you can see anyway this is the problem right now so he asked me what can go wrong so in these things you can never know how the voltage uh, is going to go over the fuse and the other circuitry uh, parts in your uh, circuit so I will disassemble it and I will try to see what I can do to help him if I can do something at all so let's disassemble this uh, wheel probably many uh, screws yes I can see many screws on the bottom hopefully uh, it is easy to take apart and uh, let's find out what can go wrong now see this <laughs> I don't know how they designed this shit okay so you have here inside the fan that is catched by screws and all the wires are very very short so it's very hard to disconnect all the plugs and then later connect them together again so pretty amazed what a wrong design to such a thing maybe if I will take the cover from the top but the cover from the top is not very easy to take off trying to understand how to open this it's very unconvenient design you see there, there is a fan with screws and on the other side they are very short wires so I can hardly take the plugs off but I need to take them off maybe if I will take the plug off it will be easier to flip it or something like this so uh, let's see ah what a bad design Sony shame on you so after disconnecting everything there is additional black wires that need to be soldered out there is no connector to this wire what what they did here Sony <laughs> I'm amazed from this very bad design for opening I have to admit I wasn't expecting such a thing but I have to desolder this wire here it's a little hard to see it maybe I will light inside there is a wire here from this connector that you need to disassemble and you have to desolder it no way no other way to disconnect it so I will do it no other way okay so at the end I decided to cut this wire here and why I did this because this is in order to connect it to resolder it I will need to go to the other side of this board and I don't want I expect it maybe to be okay after all the fix so I don't want yet to go to the second board here so I will focus on this board where is the trough or, or the transformer and if we have luck maybe uh, this transformer can 
be revived. Uh, so let's see if we have any fuse or, or on us any protection on this area. So of course I expect the coil to be disconnected. Here where is the input? Here is the input. So let's bring a fluke and see if it is disconnected. If it is disconnected, of course, it can be or a fuse or can be a bigger problem. Of course, it will be disconnected. Yes, so you can see on my fluke, there is no any resistance between the input of the cord. So now we will try to disassemble this truffle and see if anything can be done. And this is the input to the box. Uh, okay, let's try to see if he has any luck or a bad luck. <laughs> okay. So this transformer have four screws from the top and also four screws from the bottom side. So this case probably should open easily before applying any force. I found the other screws from the bottom side. So eventually it should open. Yes, indeed. Okay, so what, by the way, it is glued. There is a coil on the top. What we can see here is, of course, nothing and nothing so we have here a rectifier bridge one capacitor and usually these coils have internal fuse inside that by the way you can change all the playstation by changing this uh, transformer only and it is I have to admit that it's a very bad design because what you are using, they are using a silicon for the PCB, just regular silicon to stick these capacitors. Wow, Sony, Sony, Sony. I didn't expect such a bad design. I have to admit that I'm pressed silicon silicon anywhere here and then yeah we can see the burn on the coil if you will watch closely here i will zoom no need to open anything uh, just a second just a second yeah this way it is better on the camera. Try to do a focus here. Okay, so you can see all the black here, which means the coil is totally dead. And at this point, I want to try to understand about the capacitor. So the capacitor is for 35 volts, so I guess the voltage out is probably uh, something around uh, 12 or a little more, maybe 20 volt. I can't know, but I know that they usually take some protection percentage. So maybe I can try to find the transformer number to understand what it should be. Anyhow, uh, in the meantime, I can try to connect direct voltage 
to the PlayStation format power supply and start for 12 volt and then to understand if it is still alive using this connector that was connected to the other side here okay maybe I can pull it off yes all this glue I pull it off the plastic here and now I will try to find to understand what is the voltage of this Mitra 48 2005 200 750U maybe I will have some luck with the voltage of this one so I will try to find it on the net now yeah so by searching over the internet I found that someone already did open it and found that the transformer should be 20 volt and 750 milliampere that this is by the number probably so 20.0 and 750 milliamps so I will try now to apply a direct voltage from this connector from a power supply and see if we have any signs of living a live will so this will be interesting to test it so anyhow I need to disconnect it and use this connector let's see if the polarity is okay here I can never know I mean if the plus is the red and yes the plus is the red okay so let's try to do it now okay so now in order to take this off there are three screws on this side eventually I also disconnected screws a big screws from the side of the wheel but no need to take them out and now I have the main circuit so maybe I will try to see why when I'm supplying voltage it still it looks like it is totally dead we we'll check if the voltage get anywhere here because I don't see yet any live when I'm applying a direct voltage to the input of this guy so we will see if we have additional things here I don't hear a lot of smell of something that is burn but we'll keep on going okay so what I did is connected all the wiring together in order to check and now it is connected to my regal power supply 20 volt 750 milliampere now I will try to connect the USB maybe it will come back to life oh, do you see this no shit okay so it looks like it is doing now something so probably the circuit is uh, working well so I will have to close everything and put the correct power supply instead okay so we have now signs of life so I guess if I replace this uh, tra transformer to 220 volt to 20 volt so I guess it will be okay so this covers all so remember you need to connect all the wiring you know, and the USB in order to see it rotating and you have also an LED light here if I can put it to the camera just a second okay, okay. here the LED is here okay so you can see it now so if the light is on so probably everything is okay because nothing is hot and the electronics 
is rotating the motor so everything looks well okay so what I did in order to make it more durable for next time so it will not happen and will not explode I've added a diode for 3 amp connected it to 220 hundred a uh, microvolt a uh, capacitor 35 volt the same that was in the circuit and connect it to the output wire and now I'm using I thought after thinking about it I said to myself why not use regular power supply of a PC because you have in PC 20 volt power supply which is exactly the voltage that you need so now it will have external power supply through the cord I'm using the same cord of the uh, 220 or 110 and connected it uh, to the external power supply and this will solve any issue and the diode will protect reverse voltage and everything is perfect to go so this is my uh, solution for this problem uh, hope it helped anyone so thank you and bye